Hello ladies and gentlemen, curious minds and Netflix bingers who somehow stumbled here. Welcome to today's story. And trust me this one is glowing literally glowing, because today we're diving into the wild fascinating, sometimes spooky history of the X-ray. Yes, that magical thing that lets doctors see inside your body, without you needing to unzip your skin like a winter jacket. Buckle up, this is a ride through science accidents, glowing screens, and some very surprised hey, scientists. Wanna learn without the stress? Hell a hey, welcome to Cartoon Yep, that's definitely broken. Probably. Now let's rewind. Imagine the 1800s. No smartphones. No TikTok. No Netflix. Medicine was basically, let's just say guesswork with confidence. If you broke a bone, the doctor would poke your arm, squint, and say, yep, that's definitely broken, probably. If you swallowed a coin, good luck. They'd wait to see if it came out the other end. There was no way, I repeat, and no way, to peek inside the body without, well, actually cutting it open. And that's risky business. So the medical world desperately needed a safe window into the body, but no one had figured out how yet. Until, one man playing with electricity stumbled on something no one expected. Meet Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen, a German physicist, born in 1845. Now Wilhelm wasn't exactly the straight A, teacher's pet kind of guy. In fact, he once got expelled from school for drawing a funny picture of a teacher. So kids, if you're doodling in class right now, don't give up. You might still win a Nobel Prize. Fast forward a bit. By 1895, Röntgen was a professor at the University of Würzburg in Germany. And like many scientists of the time, he was obsessed with this new, exciting thing, cathode rays. Think of them as beams of electrons traveling through glass vacuum tubes. Scientists were using these tubes like nerdy toys, making them glow, spark, and scare their cats. Röntgen, however, was curious. He wanted to understand how these invisible rays behaved. So one evening in November 1895, he's in his lab, playing with his cathode ray tube, basically a big glass bulb with wires, electrodes, and a vacuum inside. But here's the catch. He wrapped the tube in black cardboard so no light could escape. And then something weird happened. As Röntgen turned on his machine, across the room, he noticed a strange, greenish glow on a screen coated with a chemical called barium platinocyanide. Wait, what? The tube was covered, no light could escape, but somehow this screen across the room was glowing. Now, if it were me, I'd probably say, cool, ghosts exist, time to leave. But Röntgen, being a proper scientist, went, hmm, what is this, some fascinating, kind of let's investigate. He realized invisible rays were leaving the tube, passing straight through the cardboard cover, and hitting the screen. These rays weren't like ordinary light, they could pass through solid objects. He didn't know what they were, so like any scientist who runs out of creative names, he called them X-rays. X for unknown. Yes, the same way your math teacher tortures you with solving for X. So naturally Röntgen started experimenting. He held different objects between the tube and the screen. Would books metal? And guess what? Some materials blocked the rays, others didn't. Then came the iconic moment. He placed his wife's hand, yes his wife Anna Bertha's hand, in front of the screen. What showed up? A glowing image of her bones, with her wedding ring floating like a ghostly halo around her finger. Can you imagine her reaction? History says she gasped and exclaimed, I have seen my death. I have Which seen is basically my death. the 1800s version of Nope, I'm out. She was spooked. And fair enough. If you suddenly saw your skeleton for the first time, you'd probably delete the app too. But this was history's first ever human x ray image. And it changed everything. Word spread like wildfire. Within weeks, newspapers were it's buzzing like about this strange new discovery. Imagine the headlines Professor sees through flesh. Doctors were thrilled, finally, a way to look inside patients without cutting them open. Soldiers in wars could have bullets located inside them without exploratory surgery. Dentists could see cavities. But it wasn't just doctors. Oh no, the general public went nuts. By the late 1890s, you had carnival shows where people could pay a coin to see their skeletons. Shoe stores installed x-ray machines so customers could check their shoe size by looking at their bones. Not the best idea. 
as we later learned. For a while, x-rays were seen as this magical, harmless wonder. People even made x-ray postcards and jewelry. Spoiler alert! Not a great idea either. Here's where the fun turns a little dark. Back then, no one really knew x-rays could be dangerous. People were sticking their hands under the machines for fun over and over again. Doctors would take hundreds of x-rays without protection. Over time, many of the early x-ray pioneers developed burns, radiation damage, and even cancers. In fact, Thomas Edison, yes, the light bulb guy, tried working on x-rays too. His assistant Clarence Daly got exposed so much, he eventually died from radiation complications. That tragedy actually pushed Edison to stop his experiments. So yeah, x-rays were powerful, but they came with risks. That's why today, if you've ever gotten an x-ray at the hospital, the technician runs behind a big shield and leaves you alone in the room like, good luck, see you on the other side. But let's go back to Röntgen. In 1901, he was awarded the very first Nobel Prize in Physics for his discovery of x-rays. He became world famous overnight. Yet, here's the plot twist. Röntgen was a humble guy. He refused to patent x-rays because he believed this discovery belonged to the world, not to him. He even donated his Nobel Prize money to his university. Talk about wholesome! X-rays quickly became a cornerstone of modern medicine. Broken bones? X-ray. Toothache? X-ray. Suspected pneumonia? X-ray. That little moment in 1895 gave doctors a superpower. The ability to see the invisible. And over time, we developed safer techniques, lead aprons, and better machines. Today, X-rays have evolved into CT scans, fluoroscopy, and beyond. Even airport security scanners are based on the same principle. So next time you're annoyed at airport security making you take your shoes off, blame Wilhelm Röntgen. So let's recap. One curious German physicist, Wilhelm Röntgen, accidentally noticed a mysterious glow in his lab. He experimented, discovered rays that could pass through flesh, freaked out his wife, and ended up giving humanity one of the most powerful medical tools ever invented. Before x-rays, doctors were guessing. After x-rays, they had vision, literally. And though early experiments were a bit dangerous, this discovery revolutionized medicine, science, and even everyday life. So the next time you see your doctor holding an x-ray of your chest or your arm, just remember, it all started with one man in a dark lab, one glowing screen, and a very startled wife who saw her own skeleton for the first time. And that, my friends, is the story of how x-rays came into existence. A mix of curiosity, accidents, glowing screens, spooked wives, and world-changing science. If you enjoyed this little journey through science history, hit that like button, subscribe, and remember, don't try to make your own x-ray machine at home. Seriously, leave that to the professionals. See you in the next story. Come take a peek. It's smart, it's fun. It's cartoon clinic.